What's up guys, it's a wanted turtle. So today we're doing a Pokemon opening. Uh, there was a sale recently on Best Buy and they had some pretty good deals. Uh, and I saw one item that I picked up a couple boxes just because um, I thought it was really funny during Team Up uh, when the set came up that I just could not for the life of me pull Whale Lord Magikarp and I had to resort to this box, the Whale Lord Magikarp Towering Splash GX box, um, in order to finally get that card. So I picked up two more just because I thought that was really, uh, reminded me of a very interesting time in this channel. So we're going to get into two of those boxes. Let's do this. Okay, so I just opened up boxes and made a bit of a mess, but here we have some jumbo cards. And as I was opening these boxes, I thought one thing was kind of interesting I was thinking about is this box I feel like this doesn't happen very often where they have a box that is essentially it's almost like an advertisement for the upcoming set with so it has like this was the first tag team however it didn't actually provide any tag team cards uh, which in hindsight I'm not actually crazy about and here are the two promos this is primarily what I wanted just so I have a couple more in my collection because uh, I couldn't get any from any of these packs and uh, not that I have the opportunity to do so here, which again, that's kind of weird. So we have four packs of Lost Thunder, two Celestial Storm, and two Steam Siege. Let's see, we'll do Celestial Storm, Steam Siege, then Lost Thunder. Celestial Storm, let's see, this is the, the Rayquaza set. That's a, um, like a deck that I'm kind of surprised how quickly it fell off the radar after it came out. It's just so explosive, so strong. Alright, so we have Fighting Energy, Loudrid, Energy Recycle System, Shrine of Punishment, that's a pretty cool card. Larvitar, actually though, with all the tag teams these days, maybe that's too slow. Love Disc, Electrike, C Dot, a Lantern Reverse, and then a Smooth Over Macargo, not bad. I think as far as like a uh, non foil rare, that's. Probably as good as it gets. Alright, let's see if we can pull something good. We have a Metal Energy, Marsh Stomp, Sableye, Cacleon, Chincho, Meditite, a Spoink, Electric, Surskit, a Rainbow Brush Reverse, and then we have. Ooh, wow! Okay, so we have a. Hyper Rare Blaziken. Very nice. Never thought this card was that good. The Explosive Kick is actually not bad, actually. Uh, maybe maybe with Welder. You know, maybe with Welder you can make this work. Uh, explosive Kick, Welder, Explosive Kick. The Blaze Out, I feel like, is not that good. Um, Alright, very happy with that. We do have a Hyper Rare. Uh, and let's move on to Steam Siege. All right, as always, guys, be sure to hit a, hit the like button on your way out. And if you're not already subscribed, be sure to hit that sub button as well. We do Yu-Gi-Oh content essentially every day, and as well as Yu-Gi-Oh or Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon content essentially every day. We have a Nita Reno, Zuelas, that's the name I can never remember, Monferno, Ponyard, Oshawott, Nidoran, Fungus. Mankey climbing the tower, Xerneas reverse, and then a Weavile. Okay, let's get a. Hmm. Let's get a Gardevoir. Let's get a Gardevoir EX. How about that? Ooh, Spirit Link. There it is. Confirmed. Ashawat. Ponyard, Ponyta, Clink. Mantine Averse is a Lampent, and then we have a Gar... Ooh, Infernape. Infernape looks pretty cool. Well, he... so, Infernape, you know, he looks like a fighting type, and the only thing is, like, Blaziken was also kind of like a fire and fighting type, so... I feel like it's not that very... I would expect it to have been more different, I guess. Okay, now we're on to Lost Thunder. Lost Thunder was a very strong set. Although I feel like Lost March has kind of fallen off the radar. We have Fighting Energy, Grovile, Brion, Trumbeak, Wurmple, Jigglypuff, Meowth, Cubchoo, Tangela. Ooh, Professor Arms Lecture Reverse. That's a very nice card. And then a pretty cool Arch Mirgo. Although this looks like it might have been one of those recycled arts. Alright, we have a Lugia pack card. Ooh, a Lugia. That'd be a cool pull. 
I feel like Lugia is one of those cards, one of those Pokemon that even if he's not that good, like his cards were, they'll always be um, valuable just because he's just a, a very popular Pokemon. So like, you know, nowhere the near the effect of like the, like a Charizard effect, um, but he's definitely up there. Let's see, Cub Chew, Alolan Diglett, Net 2, Lost March, nice. Chikorita, 2 Cannon, and then we have Electrovire. Alright, so let's see if we can get one more hit. Really happy with that Piper Rare that we already pulled. We're considering opening two of these boxes. I would like to hit one more thing. Alright. Psychic Energy. Heracross. Pinsir. Memory Energy. Chincho. Hopip. Nice. Picky Peck. Slugma. Poplio. Ampharos. Reverse. Looks pretty cool. And then, ooh, nice. We do have a legendary bird, Moltres. I think in the upcoming set, uh, that's the, those, so when, uh, like in the Japanese set, it's Sky Legend. And then when that prints in Unified Minds, I suspect, if they kind of do that, that mosaic art, legendary birds tag team, oh, that card looks amazing. I wonder how that'll compare with the Reshi Ram Charizard, like how everyone's going crazy looking for that card. We got an Electro Power, Stunfisk, uh, Larvitar, Wurmple, Popplio, Skeeto, Tapu Bulu for a reverse, and then we have a ooh, Tapu Fini as well. Okay. But wait, everyone, there's more. We have two more packs. We got grab just two Unbroken Bonds pack because, um, yeah, wh why would we make a video without at least a couple packs of unbroken bonds here we go I feel like uh, I prefer my videos to have two hits and while well, eventually we'll settle for the one especially when it's a hyper rare um, we'll, we'll bring our pack total to a nice round 10 to see if we can't find that second second good pull we have a Venonet, Spiro, a Lucario for the reverse and then ooh not bad a Mew not the hit I was talking about, but that might have to suffice. All right, for our last pack, let's see if we can get some last pack magic for our Warlord Magikarp dual box opening. All right, let's do this. We have a Grass Energy, Metal Core Barrier, Tentacruel, Ultra Force Cartonvoy, Rhyhorn, a Growlithe, Cubone, Riolu, Porygon, a Landris for the reverse, and then a terrifying plant victory bell. So that didn't work out the way I thought it was going to be, but either way, did have a very good time opening it. Um, as always, guys, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe on your way out, all right down below. Um, but on that, that's all we have for today. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.